Hi, this is Janelle Gazelle on the Pacific Crest Trail. I am on day three of my Nobo through hike and the terrain change has been incredible. We started out in the desert, of course, at the Mexico border and there were lots of rocks and chaparral and just really deserty. And today, coming up into Mount Laguna on the third day at about going 15 or 16 miles a day, we entered into this gorgeous pine forest and today we had an incredible view of basically what felt like all of Southern California. You could see all the way out to the Salton Sea. So that was really spectacular. I'm just loving how different this is from the Appalachian Trail so far. Another funny difference is that today we reached 6,000 feet, which is pretty much the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. I've reached it on the third day of my, of my Pacific Crest Trail through hike, so that kind of blew my mind. Uh, unfortunately, the first three days have also brought some pain and injury for me. Uh, my whole right leg is really bothering me, my knee especially, my hip too, so I think there's something going wrong with my IT band, unfortunately. It's not plantar fasciitis and Achilles tendonitis this time at least, like it was for the Appalachian Trail, but it's just kind of a good reminder that a through hike is basically an experience of constant pain management. and. I guess what I need to do is um, go and take a couple zero or Nero days as we call them and hike pretty much nothing because I know that if you take it easy in the first 100 miles, you can go all the way. But if you push yourself a lot right now, you're likely to get injured and that could ruin your hike because it's really hard to recover when you're walking all day every day. So just a reminder to everyone who hasn't started the PCT yet. Please take it easy in the first 100 miles. I've been meeting a lot of people who are like, I'm gonna push 20, 25 miles a day in the desert. It's just not a good idea. Definitely not for the first 100 miles.